Pumpkins are a must have for fall. There are so many techniques and materials that you can use to decorate them. With Halloween right around the corner, it's the perfect time to get inspired. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and grab our pumpkin and our carving supplies. I picked up this carving kit that includes a variety of tools that we can use and a bunch of different templates to choose from. And using these small tools that are really easy to handle is a good way to get yourself familiar with how to carve a pumpkin. First thing that we need to do is cut the top off the pumpkin. Once you've cut out this meaty bit here in the middle, you're just gonna use a spare bowl, toss that in. At this point, you just wanna use a combination of a spoon and your hands to fish all of this stuff out. Kind of map out where on your pumpkin you want this. Go around the perimeter and make holes to provide a template for where you need to carve. I'm using a crayon to connect the holes, following the lines using a carving knife at an angle and popping out the shapes from the inside. I carved a friendly face that can easily transition from day to night. You can also look to the tools that are in your garage for inspiration on how to carve out your pumpkin. I'm gonna use my multi-tool and carve strips out to create a lantern. I'm carefully inserting and running my multi-tool vertically up and down the pumpkin, connecting the lines at the top and bottom. Pop the shapes out from the inside and clean up loose threads as you go. Add a large candle and you're good to go come nighttime. Another way you can transform your pumpkin is with spray paint. There are so many colors available and it's really, really easy to choose something that matches your decor style. I've had plenty of time for my pumpkin to dry from the spray paint, so now I'm just gonna use some color samples that you can pick up at Lowe's and some old uh, craft brushes and paint a face on here. I'm not gonna do any carving because this is spray paint, so I'm just gonna use some other materials to decorate the pumpkin. I'm actually gonna use some spray painted dowels in my drill to turn this guy into a little spider. I'm going to start by measuring the length of each dowel. I'm gonna need eight for this, cut them down to size, and then I will install them. I use my miter saw to cut these down to size. Uh, these are about eight inch in length. A drill bit that's close to the size of the dowel will give you a tight fit when inserting into the pumpkin. Drill holes all the way around your pumpkin to where the legs will go. To make this spider a little bit more lifelike, I added a second dowel with one end cut at a 45 degree angle and secured with super glue. Add some yarn to create a web and you've got yourself a spooky spider. This next pumpkin is one of my absolute favorites. I'm gonna be using some address numbers to create a nice focal point and statement for my front porch. I used spray paint and a neutral color as the base of this pumpkin. Once everything was dry, I added the numbers on the flattest part of the pumpkin using a soft mallet. Pop it on your porch so your neighbors can see, and now you've got yourself a festive, functional piece of fall decor. Another really fun tool that you can use to do some pumpkin decorating is with the Dremel tool. Dremel tools come with all kinds of attachments for etching and sanding, all that can change the appearance of the pumpkin. I used an etching attachment to first kind of outline where I wanted to make my mark. So now I'm using the sanding attachment for this Dremel to take away the bulk of the front of the pumpkin. This is getting a little bit messy. I highly recommend wearing some safety glasses and some old clothes. So even though this one was a little bit messier than all of the other ones, I think it turned out really good. If you're wanting to add a little bit of color to your porch or outdoor areas during fall, these seasonal flowers are a great way to do that. Mums are a fall staple and come in so many different colors. These are absolutely stunning. And I'm gonna be taking this pumpkin and transforming it into a planter. Once you've removed all of the insides from your pumpkin, go ahead and fill it up with a little bit of fresh potting soil. Then you'll wanna carefully make sure that the roots of the mums are separated just a little bit before placing them into your pumpkin. Be sure to drill some drainage holes in the bottom of the pumpkin. I'm 
voila, you've got yourself a beautiful fall centerpiece. Don't feel limited to using just one pumpkin in your design. I'm going to use all of these pumpkins to create a really cool effect and a special message. I'm gonna use this etching tool that came in this pumpkin carving kit. It's got this notched out V shape to it and it's gonna allow me to get really nice and deep in there. This tool allows you to carve just the surface of the pumpkin without going all the way through. Okay y'all, this tool definitely requires a little bit of elbow grease. I'm having good luck turning it down towards me and kind of carving at a sharper angle on a piece that I've already carved. So if you just really press into it, I'm having really good luck taking out bigger chunks. This technique can be time consuming, but it does make a really big impact. And boom, all the elbow grease paid off. This design goes out to all of our first responders. Thank you so much for all you do. Stacked pumpkins can be a really great way to add some visual interest and create a focal point for your outdoor spaces. I'm gonna be using these three pumpkins and this dowel to create a scarecrow. Measure what will be the height of your stacked pumpkins and cut your dowel to size. Next, I'm gonna work on carving holes in the pumpkin so I can thread this dowel. Be sure to carve out the stems on the top and middle pumpkin so they stack as flat as possible. Holes are drilled, now it's time to assemble. I recommend stacking the pumpkins where you plan on displaying the scarecrow. Now it's time to decorate. I'm using some felt furniture pads for the eyes and paint for the nose, mouth, and cheeks. Add some arms, a colorful scarf, and a hat, and that will complete our scarecrow. I hope this video has helped you get into the Halloween spirit and inspired you to start carving your own pumpkins. Be sure to let me know in the comments below which design you'll be working on. And if you need more info and inspiration, be sure to check out the description below. Thanks for watching.